Hello Aquarius viewers. So last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that you have this past life connection with someone and you have this, this long past life history with them where I think you guys have led rebellions together. Um, it feels like an Irish or Scottish rebellion is, is the energy I keep getting for this group of Aquariuses. I feel like either they watched you die or you had to watch them die. Um, there's some kind of just trauma there between you guys. I did the last video I did for you guys. I was basically explaining that that that's a big part of why they're so afraid of this connection. Because I think you guys have been wondering, like, because it's beyond just regular commitment issues. You know what I mean? It's it's somebody who's they're just so terrified of losing you that they just they run and they sabotage. And I think their behavior just hasn't really been making sense to you. So if you're new to my channel, you might want to check out that last video that I did because it just kind of goes in depth into that past life history that you guys have together. And I, I really feel like this is a continuation of that story here. So I don't know if some of you have been trying to, to end those soul contracts so that you can have a new start with this person. Um, it's just kind of referencing that again, but it's like, it's, this person is still hanging on to the past life trauma. They're still kind of fighting it. I think that you're trying to help them heal, maybe consciously or unconsciously. It's like you are trying to get them through this and you are trying to show them that you're going to be there and that it's going to be different this lifetime. And they are trying to work up the courage and assertiveness to come forward but they just, they still have these patterns that originate from their past lives and they really need to end those soul contracts if they haven't already. It's like they're just, they're still holding on to, to those patterns. You know, we have um, Chaser, Chasey here, and then we have Power Struggle. So I feel like it's like a power struggle between you guys. Like things are just off balance. And... I also feel like they're they're just a they're a very old soul. They're not really from this time period. And it's like I think that they don't I don't know how to explain it. It's like they don't like this time period. Like they don't feel at home here at all. They they still have a very strong past life connection. Um to, you know, like, you know, their Irish and Scottish past lives, or maybe even Viking past lives as well. Uh I think that they're they're just a very old soul, so they feel very out of place here. I think they're kind of bored as well with, you know, just everyday society, um, societal customs, just, you know, day-to-day -day life. I think that they just get bored and they're so used to everything being a battle. They're so used to, you know, leading rebellions. Both of you are. I think you guys have done that together in your past lives. And, you know, they're, they're, they're just so used to things being a constant like uphill battle they're they're so used to there being something that they have to fight for this could be somebody who's involved in politics because that is something that they would probably be drawn to considering their past lives it's like they would want to keep fighting they would want to keep you know leading rebellions and that kind of thing but um and it's a beautiful energy it's it's a it's not a bad thing but it's just that they can't seem to allow themselves to just be happy. That's the problem is it's like they think that everything, they're in survival mode constantly. Like they just think that everything has to be a struggle. They think that things can't be easy, you know, like they're really hard on themselves. I feel like they just, they can't seem to just slow down and, and take a break and just enjoy life. Um, and again, I think there's also the trauma, which I talked about in the last video. There's that trauma of them, you know, you, I think that you died um, you know, cause you guys, I mean, it makes sense. You guys were basically in, it is, you had a very violent death and I think that they had to see it or they heard about it. There's some, something violent that happened to you that was just unexpected. And I think that they got to see progress and you didn't because you died before they did. And they had to kind of just keep trudging on, even though it was killing them because they had to finish what you guys started basically, even though you weren't there anymore. But I think it was so traumatic for them that they're, they're still pushing you away. They're still um, traumatized by you dying and they, they don't understand that this lifetime they can rest, they can have peace, they can relax, they can have a simpler life this lifetime. And I think that they just, they don't understand that. They feel like you would die again, like they would lose you again, or they feel like, 
like everything is just a battle and a struggle with them. And it's just, it's a, it's a power struggle here. You know, we have chaser chasey power struggle. It's like, it's just, they, they really need to, to end those past life contracts because they keep repeating those, those soul contracts that don't need to be repeated anymore. Like they can be happy, but they're not realizing it. They're not, if anything is too easy, it's like they don't accept it. They think life just could never be that easy for them. And so they need to choose a path. Are they really going to keep playing the soul contract over again, life after life after life, and keep sabotaging things with you, their, their soulmate or their twin flame? You know, I think they feel a lot of confusion and uncertainty because I don't think that, I think that you're consciously aware that they have this, this pattern, um, you know, these soul contracts they keep repeating. I think that you have some awareness of it or you have some awareness of like the spiritual nature of this relationship, but I don't really think that they're fully aware of it. I think that you're more aware than they are. And so, yeah, I think they feel confused because they're like, why, why am I so terrified of getting hurt by this person? You know, like, why can't I rest? Why do I feel like everything has to be a battle? Like, why... Am I so bored with this time period? Why am I so bored when life is normal? Why can't I just have a stable, healthy life and healthy relationship and just be happy with that? Why do I always have to um, be in a battle? Why do I have to make things so complicated, you know? Um, and, you know, we have nostalgia and longing here. It's like they... They're, I think they are longing for the past. They're, they're, again, I think this is somebody who's an old soul who really just does not fit into this time period. I think they're really missing that old time period here. And um, with submissive and weak-willed here, it's like they're kind of giving in to that energy, I think, where they're just, they're just longing for a different life. They're longing for a different time period. Um Hmm. Just looking at this energy here. So we've got nostalgia, we've got longing, we've got submissive and weak willed. <clears throat> yeah, it's just these patterns repeating that needs to end. You know, because they don't even they don't even understand where the fear is coming from. It's like they're so scared of getting hurt, but they don't even understand why they're so afraid, you know? It's like they don't they don't understand. I don't think they understand the past life stuff the way that you do. We've got clubs, parties, and social life. So I feel like this means different things for different people that are drawn to this video. For some of you, I feel like it could be someone you met at a club or, or a party, but I also feel like this person could be submissive and weak-willed to clubs and parties, like to an addiction like drugs or alcohol or you know, when I like in this context, the way I see this card is like somebody who's kind of just trying to hide from their pain, trying to cover things up, trying to to just run and keep things light because they don't know how to slow down and have a, a normal, stable relationship. Um, and there's nothing wrong with like partying and going to clubs like that's fun, but it's like they're doing it in a negative way because they're using it as a crutch. Like they're using their addictions, or, like whether it's drugs, alcohol, partying, whatever, um, they're, they're not doing it in a positive way. They're doing it in a negative way because it's like they're using it as a crutch to escape from whatever's hurting them or escape from, you know, their boredom with life, their boredom with society. Um, I feel like for some of you also, this could mean that you've either just met somebody or that you're going to meet somebody at like a club or a party or some kind of social event, like going out, um, you might have new love coming in because we have new love faded encounter here, you know, taking it slowly, pulling them in, getting to know each other. And so it's like you might be meeting somebody at a social event and kind of taking it slow with them. And then, you know, you have this new love here because it's like this other person is just, they're not a bad person, I don't think, but they just keep holding on to the past life soul contracts. And until they end those, it's like they're just going in circles, you know? It's really, it's frustrating, I think, for you. Um, hmm. I think it's just, yeah, it's it's a strange, frustrating situation. I'm trying to see what else I can get from the energy here. So we've got submissive, weak-willed, nostalgic. Mm. I'm trying to see if this could be, like, renewed love. 
I guess it could potentially be like them having an outlet for all this energy because they have a lot of energy, I feel, and they need a better outlet for it. So that's kind of an issue here. Uh, but yeah, you might be meeting somebody new. Or this could also be like new in the sense of like having renewed love with this person where it's like they, if they could find like a healthier outlet, like for all that energy they have and maybe end these soul contracts, then there could still be some hope there. But if they keep repeating it, then it's just, it's kind of a frustrating situation. Pull some more cards really quick. Waiting, hoping, praying, X the past. Waiting, hoping, praying, X in the past, toxicity, red flags, and hidden motives. Hmm. I'm trying to make it. This is a confusing reading. You guys are in a complicated, you guys are in a weird situation because you have like all the past life stuff going on here. I just feel like it's like they don't know how to let things be normal. It's like things have to be toxic. There has to be a power struggle. There has to be drama. Um, or it's like they get bored or they like feel like things are too normal and it's like they're afraid of losing it. It's like, it's just. I think they're not letting you know what they feel. It's like they're waiting and hoping and praying for this connection and wanting it to come through. But they're like, what they show on the outside is way different than what's actually going on internally with them is kind of what I get from this this spread here. So it's really complicated. Um, God, it's, it sucks because, I mean, you do have this really strong past life history with this person, you know? Like, you guys have been through a lot together. But until they let go of that trauma, it's like they're going to keep sabotaging this because it's going to be too normal and too stable for them. And they're not going to accept that life could be that good. They're not going to accept that life could be that normal. They're still in survival mode. Like what they went through in the past was so traumatic that it's like to this day, they're still, they keep repeating that energy of having to survive and having to fight all the time. And so it's like everything is a battle with them. Um, and, and, you know, the only hope here is if they end those soul contracts, but they have to consciously want to end those soul contracts. They, um, and they have to find an outlet for all that energy because this is somebody who's very passionate, very opinionated, very strong-willed. Um, it's, it's somebody, they're, they're going to have to find a healthier outlet for that energy because there's somebody who gets bored easily. I think there's somebody who who just, again, they they don't fit into this time period. They, they need to live for something more. They need to live for something greater than themselves. This is like the kind of person that would just devote their lives to um, service to others kind of energy here. So it's like they, they need more, whether it's career or whether it's just hobbies or just, you know, some outlet for all that energy they have. They need that if that's ever going to happen for them. But in the meantime, it looks like they're just going to sabotage it. And, and if they keep, if they keep up with this soul contract, they're just going to keep sabotaging this and they, they're, they're going to keep running and they're going to keep being afraid um, on some level of, of, you know, losing you because you died in a past life and they had to see that. And it was so traumatic. And, and, um, so, so yeah, unless they, unless they clear up and, and cut and clear these soul contracts and find a healthier outlet for all this energy and really work on themselves, they're going to keep doing the same shit over and over again. And you don't want to get dragged into that. But again, you might also be meeting somebody new and kind of taking it slow and pulling them in and getting to know them. So you you might find yourself, and this is a very common energy that I keep getting for those of you that are drawn to this channel, is that there's old love and there's also new love coming in for you. So you might also have somebody new and then you're going to have to be making a, um, you know, choosing a path here between these two people. And again, it's up in the air whether this person, you know, because this person is still struggling with the soul contract. So that's that's where we're at right now. It's it's kind of up in the air whether or not they're gonna end the soul contract and and find an outlet and get their shit together finally or not. You know what I mean? So you might be choosing a path. You might be some, meeting somebody else. And so you're yeah. That's 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 what I'm getting from this spread. So if it resonates, please go ahead and like. Um, you know, comment, subscribe, and I do paid private readings. My email is below. Thanks for watching.